हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल कोडिंग विद सुधीर सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द इंस्टॉलेशन प्रोसेस ऑफ माय एसक्यूएल सर्वर एंड माय एसक्यूएल वर्कबेंच सो लेट अस बिगिन समहाउ दिस इज अ ट्रिकी प्रोसेस मेनी टाइम्स द यूजर गेट स्टक प्लीज सी दिस वीडियो सिंसियरली टिल द एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट द प्रोसेस सो यू हैव टू गो इन टू द सर्च मेन्यू ऑफ गूगल there you have to search mysql after searching mysql mysql will be shown you have to click on it after clicking on it in the menu bar you will be able to see the download section in the download section you have to click on the downloads as you will click on the downloads you have to scroll down in the down you will be able to see mysql community download section so you have to click there here you will be able to see all the products available by mysql here we have to download mysql server for downloading the mysql server you will have to click on mysql installer for windows after clicking on mysql installer for down windows you will able to see the next process so here you will be able to see two file one file is having the file size 2.4 mb and other is having 42.8 mb so we have to install the file having the larger size because during installation process many file will be installed at that time so to avoid that we will install the larger file so we have to click on download section of the larger file after clicking on downloads of the larger file here you will be shown login section if you have the login id of mysql you will have to click there or otherwise you have to click on no thanks just start my download so here you could see that download process has been started for not wasting your time i have already downloaded this file so let's start the installation process so here we will open the installation file after opening the installation file the installation process has been started so patiently please wait and watch so here you will be able to see all the functions available by mysql as you could see that dev developer section server only section client section and full section so we have to download server only so we have to click on server only or otherwise if we want to customize for more functions here we will click on customize if we will install the full process so it will take a very larger file and this will sometime stuck and it will also slow your pc because you have to work on very few things so here we will click on custom after clicking on custom you have to click on next after clicking on next here you will be able to see two boxes one box is in the left side and other box is in the right side so those function which you will select from the left box or which you want to install those things will be shown in the right box so here we are selecting the mysql server and mysql workbench you could also select other functions which which are required for your work i have also selected the mysql router so after selecting all the things i will click on next after clicking on next here you could see that all the files are ready for executing so we have executed the files so the files is getting ready for installation and the installation process has been started after completing the installation process we will start the configuration process so here we will see the configuration process step by step please do the configuration sincerely because many of you stuck in this here we have to click on next button 
here there is no any need to change the setting from by default so we have to keep it by default so we will click on next button again we will click on next button so here we have to create password for mysql please remember this password because further you will have to log in with this password so here we will click on next after setting our password again we have to click on next all those configuration which we have selected earlier that will be applied so applying that we have to click on execute it will take some time please wait in the further steps we have to only click on next to finish this process so we will just click on next you could see that in each step i am clicking on next button so here the installation process has been finished so we have to click on finish button after finishing our installation process here we will see how to create database in mysql so from the windows bar section we will search here mysql and thereafter we will open mysql so in the first step we have to log in with our password after logging with password we have to use the command so database command to see that all the database available here so here we are using so database command and if we want to create our own database we will use the command create database and here i have created the database by name my database as you could see here my database has been created successfully for again showing my database i have to again run the command so database so you here you will be able to see that my database is showing here so if this video was helpful to you please like share subscribe your appreciation gives us the motivation to make more such videos thank you